Hello and welcome to Embarrassing Fan Encounters. I have to say, this is not about embarrassing fans, but embarrassing Patty meeting fans and not being prepared. <laughs> One very embarrassing thing was in my holidays. I think it was the second time I visited Iceland. Uh, and towards the end of my holiday, I went to uh, like a little restaurant. For some reason I was in a restaurant, I don't remember why. But I went outside to go back to the car and the, the restaurant had really big window, like a really big window wall because it had a beautiful sight to the ocean. And the people eating at the restaurant would sit right in front of, like in the inside obviously, but right in front of those windows looking outside. And uh, in order to get to the car, I had to pass that window wall where all the people would stare at me, whatever, that's fine. But there were two people, like a, a couple in particular, that were extremely staring at me. And they were staring so much that I got a little bit nervous, you know, and I was just wondering God, why they're staring at me. So since it didn't cross my mind that they are maybe just recognizing me, um, what I did was... Okay, let's imagine that you are that couple and uh, I am just walking here in front of the window and you're just staring at me all the time and I get nervous <laughs> and I went like... and then kept walking because it was uncomfortable and I didn't think far enough. <laughs> um, until later I got a Facebook message saying, hey Patty, um, we're in Iceland and I think we just saw you at a restaurant and I was like, god damn it, I didn't realize I was behaving like an idiot. Great. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry for behaving like an idiot. It just wasn't very clear to me, so, um, but I learned from that. <laughs> So if I wave at you like... That's probably because I don't understand why sometimes people stare at me. You are allowed to stare, it's okay. If you want to support this channel, there's uh, thousands of buttons underneath this video, which you can all click randomly and I guess they, that will help my algorithm. Yeah, so try that. <laughs> the next story happened at a big furniture store. And uh, I was just about to move into my new apartment, which then three weeks later I lost because of a big flood. And uh, I got a couple of things that one needs to move into a new apartment, like a toilet brush. And uh, as I was walking through the store and uh, I, I asked one of the employees there whether they had this and that object because I couldn't find it. And um, they answered and they said, no, unfortunately not, whatever. And then uh, that guy was like, excuse me, I have a question. Are you a musician? I was like, uh-huh. And he went on saying very nice and friendly things. But I felt so embarrassed <laughs> standing there with a card full of stuff like toilet brush. <laughs> um, yeah, whatever. He had an awesome beard though, I told him that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, this is very embarrassing for me, so uh, leave a like for my bravery. <laughs> By the way, it is also time for me to tell you about my Patreon. My Patreon is where you got a lot of uh, behind the scenes materials, like things I'm working on, problems I'm facing, behind the scenes selfies, all that kind of stuff. I really love having a Patreon because this is pretty much the only reason why I can still be an independent artist and not have to sign with uh, a major label. And I'm very proud of that. If you value that to be a part of our Guardian Patreon group, I have another one for you. This was at an Arion concert in Tilburg in the Netherlands. Um, and it was quite a long concert and it was very full. And I kind of couldn't deal with the thick air. And uh, I think also my blood sugar wasn't good. So at some point, 
towards the end of the concert I had to leave the concert hall and go to the toilets to like put some cold water into my face and just cool down and my whole circulation just didn't work anymore and I had to lie down on the floor because I was in danger of uh, passing out which is not good when you're standing <laughs> um, whatever I got over it there was a woman that helped me it was fine and I just came out of the woman's toilet again to go out with the whole crowd because the concert was over at that point and I was so I mean I was even paler than I usually am and I was just like I was okay again but still a bit you know and uh, walking towards the exit and then you know people come and say hey Patty we're one of your first followers and you're like hey great I wish you could see me in a better stage <laughs>